We're here with Emil Hyde from The Landlord, a horror indie film, fair to say? Uh, yes, it is definitely an indie film. Uh, I made it with uh, myself and 120 of my closest unpaid friends back in Chicago. <laughs> That's kind of the, the life of indie filmmakers, though, so you got to love that. The indie spirit. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's really glamorous paying off those credit card bills, but you know the end product was worth it. It's a, uh, it's a charming uh, horror comedy about a young man who inherits a demon-infested apartment building from his devil-worshipping parents, and with it the job of finding new tenants for the demons to devour and cleaning up the mess when they're done. <laughs> And uh, have you been to many festivals with this? Oh, God, yeah. We've been uh, accepted into uh, close to two dozen uh, festivals in the U.S. and uh, in Britain. It's done really well in Britain. But uh, this is about the, uh, I'd say it's close to the 30th uh, horror convention we've done promoting it this year. So, Is this your first feature or are there other films you've done? Or <laughs> what? What Do you have other stuff planned? Is there going to be a Landlord 2? Where, where is the Landlord print? Uh, well, um, Not to give away the, the ending or anything. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, this is the first feature that actually counts. If you did some digging, you might be able to find some other things. But, you know, um, as for the future, Landlord 2, well, we're really happy with the sales of it. It's been pretty strong. It's only been out for uh, three weeks in the U.S. It's uh, already sold through, like, uh, three batches of a thousand, and it's going to have a big release in the UK in uh, the fall. But as for making the Landlord 2, I don't think enough people are going to see Landlord 1. But we do have some, uh, you know, some cool other ideas in the works. Great. And uh, what inspired you to make this, you know, first official feature be a horror film? Are you a big fan of the genre? Well, not only that, but do you, do you have some interesting experiences with your landlord that inspires you about this? Uh, well, my landlord at the time was perfectly nice, though. I have been thrown out of my ass by one or two, and maybe making a story about a landlord who uh, cruelly feeds his tenants to a pair of demons was a way to, you know, get revenge on, you know, those but uh, no, I'm not really. Mostly just kind of like a fever dream that came out of my head. We started the idea about a uh, web web uh, series about a stoner who has a demon roommate, and the demon keeps on eating whatever third person they bring in to pay rent. But eventually, the stoner became like a depressed alcoholic, and uh, and when the story got a little bit weirder, a little bit darker. But you know, I think it's cooler for it. So, I, I mean, the the convention is definitely a unique uh, experience. I mean, have you toured this around? Like, what exactly are you doing? Is this a self release thing or you know oh um, well actually we we uh, we're doing a release through uh, in, in you can get it online on amazon.com on um, you know borders.com blockbuster.com you can get it uh, we're, we release it through Tempe uh, home video and we have another company that's doing our overseas distribution but our deal does allow us to uh, you know make our own copies and sell them here at conventions which is really good because it helps pay the expenses yeah. And uh, do you have any uh, favorite horror film of all time that might have inspired you to make The Landlord later in life? Oh, um, well, um, uh, you know, I mean, pe pe people say Ghostbusters, people say Evil Dead, too, with this movie. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe. Uh, I mean, my, my favorite's Del Morte, Del Amore, uh, you know, Cemetery Man. But uh, as far as there being a direct experience, I think this is more just uh, fueled by like, you know, my own nightmares and uh, just sort of. There's something bubbling in my subconscious that this crawled out of. I don't. I don't think. It's so, so you're implying that if anyone watching out there, they might not want to be. Have you as a landlord? Are you implying? Uh, I don't want to be your landlord. <laughs> I, I don't want Hope, hopefully it doesn't come to that, basically. Hopefully it doesn't. Sure. And hopefully if I am, I want it to feed you to a demon. <laughs> can you also uh, tell us where we can get this? Of course. You can uh, get it on DVD or Blu-ray from www.thelandlordmovie.com. That is uh, www.thelandlordmovie.com. And if you don't superimpose that, I'm going to look like an idiot. Uh, we will, we will oh, we'll do that Excellent. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Cool.